is it about the city of Boston that leads me to forego the more sophisticated temptation of the fermented grape? Sitting here with a cold brew in my hand, I feel amalgamated with the hoi polloi. You are the classic everyman. <laughs> And Frazier is back, and he's still the same, maybe a little older, a little richer, a little wiser, but still the same. The iconic and hilarious sitcom Frasier originally aired for 11 seasons. The new episodes are now on Paramount Plus, and we're excited to have Kelsey Grammer join us now live. Hi, Kelsey. How are you? Great to see you. Hi, I'm, I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing great. Well, I'm doing really great now. Frasier is back, and he's in Boston? He is. He's in Boston. <laughs> he's returned to Boston to kind of flesh out his his destiny. Yeah. Uh, well, so many people are just so excited to have Frasier back, but Kelsey, I was just wondering, what did it mean to you to return to this character that you've, you've been for so long? To return to Frasier was, was always, I, actually it wasn't something I, on my radar until um, there was such success with, with Roseanne's return to television and, uh, and with, um, um, Will and Grace a little mm -hmm. bit, and then the idea that these things were possible. I didn't want to do the show like it had been before, though. I always thought it should be a new show with, um, you know, a familiar face or two, maybe the legacy cast, but as it turned out, that didn't work out. Um, but I wanted to make it the next chapter in his life yeah. instead of just a, just a continuation of what what we knew in Seattle. So we had to we had to move. And I thought he had a lot of unfinished business in Boston, so he had to get back to Boston. And, and he had his son there, and there's a relationship there that needs some mending. And uh, so that that's a situation, this being a situational comedy, uh, which um, probably will give birth to many, many stories. Ah, yes, many stories. So you're saying you kind of came back. You wanted to make Frasier more contemporary. How would you describe Frasier 2023, the character? Well, he's a little more comfortable in his own skin. He's uh, he's certainly not as um, uh, afflicted with the image as he once was. Although it's you know it's still part of his makeup because he cares about how he how he presents himself, and I think that's probably one of the things that's endearing about him, honestly. But uh, well, I'm rocking the table. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> he's um, he's in it with his whole heart. But that's something that's been true of him for a long time. He wants to know his son. He wants to be a better dad, and. Uh, and have a more fulfilled relationship with him. And he also wants to, you know, finish his days in a way that uh, he's still of some use to people, which I guess is a sort of mirror of me. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And Jack Cutmore Scott, he plays such the perfect role of, of your son, uh, Freddie. How, tell us about the casting. I mean, how did you know he was the right guy? Well, it's interesting. We had, uh, we had several guys come in, and the most important thing about it, an audition for a sitcom is that the guy's funny. Now we had a couple of guys come in who were sincere and heartfelt, and you know you, you recognize that they could possibly be the right guy. But uh, Jack made one thing funny that the other guys couldn't, and that kind of put him over the top. Ah, uh -huh. isn't that how it always happens? I kind of heard yeah. a story about yourself back in Cheers and being a little funny. So maybe that's what, <laughs> right? Just I think the, I think the way they told that story was I was just funny looking. <laughs> ah, oh, yeah. Okay, I got over it. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Uh, well, let's talk about director James Burroughs. He's back with you, and he's been with you since the beginning. How does that feel for you? It is. I'm, I'm, I'm quoting myself. I read it somewhere that I said it's my own personal heaven to know that Jimmy Burroughs is still in my life. Mm. That is, uh, that is the truth. Yeah. And of course, everyone wants to know if you will make it ever back to Cheers, since you're in Boston. Thoughts on that? <laughs> well, I think I think the uh, I think the smart money is on that we won't go back there. Uh, we might explore the connection a little bit. We've made reference to it, you know, that he might have spent too much time in a bar in his old <laughs> days in Boston. Uh, there's there's that potential, I guess, for one of the characters to show up in his life in a kind of a random, not particularly uh, uh, ridiculous way. No, yeah. oh, it's not too arch or, or too sort of, you know, focused on getting uh, eyeballs to the show. Uh, I think Fraser will stand alone beautifully in Boston in his new environment, teaching at Harvard with a new friend and, and, and relationships that play out from that from that foundation. Yeah, well, that is for sure. Frazier's standing alone. It's been standing alone for a very long time. And should I say six Emmys for you all of these years and then so many other awards. And people are just so, so excited to have you back. So thank you so much for being here with us to talk.
It's my pleasure. It's nice to be back. All right. See you soon. Frazier is now streaming on Paramount Plus. Get caught up before the big season finale on December 7th.